Today, you're going to see something very experimental, but something that's also really cool. You've always wanted to be able to have multiple selection in Hakshi. Me and Miltos are testing this right now, and I'm going to show you the result. There's still a few bugs that could be ironed out, but it's an amazing add-on to the program. So I have my normal Hakshi right here. I'm going to open it up. And everything loads A to Z like normal. I'm going to close it. And I'm actually going to take this amazing add-on that Eli Rodriguez made. And I'm going to overwrite my Hexi executable with it. I'm going to right click on it says security this file came from another computer and might be blocked due to help protect your computer so I'm gonna unblock it now when I open this up it's gonna actually give me some error messages because certain things that you had to actually it does not recognize so it rejects them so I'm gonna open it object reference not set to an instance of an object that means the game cannot be read by this new revision to Hagshi. So I have uh, over a thousand games that cannot be read right now. So I'm going to jam a little music while I go through this little process. This is Lords of Thunder Sega CD soundtrack. I'm on the OK and I'm just going to push enter. Let the error messages end. Enter key for every single instance that cannot be read. A little tedious, but you get to see exactly what the testing process is like. And of course, I had to show you this because you would encounter this on your own if you tested this. Normally if you get stuck in uh, a process like this, you could just do this. Control out delete. Task manager. You can go to processes. Find Hashi2 and you could end it. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going to actually get all the way through these errors. So again, I'm going back to here. And I'm going to keep pushing enter, which is the easiest way to close these errors out. And it's basically pointing to each file that it cannot read. Now normally you would open this up and think this com you know this is completely broken but it'll actually make it to the end once it bypasses all these errors. I don't have a turbo button for my enter key. <laughs> you know, games like Sega CD, Turbo Graphics 16 CD. PlayStation 1, 3DO, etc. cannot be read by this. Now that the errors are cleared, it should open once it loads it all into memory. Then you'll get to see the new tree method that should be implemented into Hexi fairly soon. Now we have, I'm going to pause the music now so you can hear me a little bit better since we're past that part. Anyways, we have the normal A to Z method. I'm going down. 
And I noticed that quite a few of my games are actually missing from Hack G2. That's one of the bugs. My arcade set is literally just gone. So it, the error basically pointed to out of memory and unable to point to the file. Now if I switch back to my original Hack G file, I'll get these files back. They're just context-wise, not memory in here. Now you notice there's an A to Z tab and a By System tab. If I click By System, here's where the magic happens. Now I can see all my systems, Atari 2600, Atari 7800, Atari Lynx, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Neo Geo Pocket, NES, the default games that come with it, Nintendo 64, PC Engine, which is TurboGrafx-16, Sega 32X, Sega Game Gear, Sega Genesis, Sega Master System, SNES, which is Super Nintendo, and Super Graphics. And I can expand these tabs, and I have a selection tree.